I thought you were going to do a, a more classic version of O Uchigari, Major Inner Reef. And you'll see why this was called Major Inner Reef. O means major, Uchi means uh, uh, inside, inside the legs. Gari means to reap, reaping action. So you see a lot of people use hooking action too. This is why it's called because in this throw, Derek's going to be reaping a lot with his right leg around Mike's, uh, his, yeah, around Mike's left leg. So let's take a look at the basic, classic style of Ouchigari. Let's talk about footwork. Okay, so let's key in on the feet here. When, when Derek does enter the, the technique, he's going to kind of open Mike up. See, the Japanese, and, and with good reason, are very big on the surikomi, the lifting, pulling, opening action with the, the chest opening, as I call it. And that's what's happening. I wouldn't step quite so far there, just over there, right there. Now, when he does that, he's going to back step in. See how it closes the body space. Okay, see the hips in position. Now, with his right leg, he's going to swing it in, and he's going to do gari, or reap. Okay? Mike, could you stand your back to the camera? And Derek's going to do the same thing. Let's, let's look at the action of the feet now, the gari, the reaping action. Back step in. There we go. Now again, how you hook or how you reap is your preference. Some people sweep their leg quite low around the opponent's ankle. Some people, like we do here, we like a lot, we tend to hook a little higher. It's just a total preference on your part. Let's look at that opening setup. When Derek and Mike are connected here, they're starting a standard kumikata, standard grip, lapel and sleeve grip. What Derek's going to do when he sets this up, he's going to set up his right hands along the side of the, lapel, of the uh, pec, left hand here, he's closing his face. By stepping in low, he's lowered his body, space, or, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, in proximity to his opponent, and now he's going to back step in and hook, or sweep. I should say reap, actually. That's what it's going to look like. So that's the standard Ouchigari. Let's see if turn it off a different angle. Okay, now watch again. Okay, he's just going to come step in. See, back step. Ochi. Okay. One more time, rather fast. And we'll end it with that. Bam. You go in. And again, finish. When you finish, land directly on him. We like to see good chest to chest contact because you can go immediately into the Osakomi or holding situation. Or this is a good time to pass over his legs if you're like in BJJ or MMA or something. Or you would be in an A, you would be wearing these, wouldn't you? But anyway, but you know what I'm saying. So you can put the OG and then you come outside as well. There you go, pass as well. So that's pretty much how it would look. That's an Ouchigari. This is one of the basic techniques of certainly judo and sambo, pretty much any form of grappling. In wrestling, they call it something different, but it's fundamentally major inner reap, inside leg trip, whatever you want to call it. It's a very powerful throw, very popular throw. Look up the hip. Okay, let's take a look at Ochigari. How we approach it here at Welcome Mat. We'll have some other Ochigaris, uh, other videos as well. But right now, this is how we approach Ochigari, pretty much at Welcome Mat. First of all, if you're standing here gripping and fighting, I like to get my hand on the sleeve here, so I have this side of the good anchor here, and generally high up about the elbow. Okay, you can do the elbow, you can do the lapel as well, but I like to have to start out. Which one we teach people to start this ochigari from here. Now my my right hand is going to be reaching around the back, as you can see here, around this deltoid, and catching this, and I'm going to close my elbows. Here. Don't leave your elbows up. You don't want to have a floating elbow here. Okay. Right. So I've got Derek here like this. Now my posture will be, I'm leading, we, it's very important how you start your posture as an all throws, especially Ochigari. I'm leading with my right foot. So I'm kind of shiver footing there, and my hips kind of close to his. Not too far away. I don't want to start my Ochigari way back here. I'm just too far away, so I want a good upright posture. I close it and lead it with the foot. See this? Now my goal in Ochigari, major inner reef major inside reap is for my right leg to hook or reap inside his left leg. So when I do this, I close him in, I'm going to replace my feet. So watch how I replace my feet. My left foot and my back leg comes up, and it's replaced with my right leg, and I hook. Don't, don't lunge and reach. You're way off balance. One of the best counters for Owuchigari is Owuchigari, which you just saw Derek could do with me. 
So when I do this now, when I come around, we're going to get a different angle here. Back foot in. Now when I hook, it's essential that I point my toe. Don't let your, not a big piece of meat there. Don't aim with your heel, aim with your toe. Some people like to hook very low around the leg. You come in, hook very low around the leg. Or hook high. That's totally up to you. It's totally up to you. Some make more of a reaping move. Open shigari means major inside reap, reaping movement. You can also make a hooking move. This is a little short, choppy hooking movement. Some people prefer that. Totally up to you. It's personal preference. The only thing I'll say here is Another key so factor here, I want to get into it, I'll have the guys throw it a moment. When I actually throw, I want to be chest to chest. So when I'm going to go like this, close them in, skip in, that's where I skip in, hook, and notice how I'm chest to chest. Notice I'm not trying to be up right, I'm lowering my level with my legs. So when I come in here, skip the hook, chest to chest. So I'm, when I throw on him, when I throw him, he literally is my crash pad. Okay? So this will be a short one, just take a look at this. Close it in here, I'll toss them here. Come in, when I come in, hook, like that, okay? Come in, hook, point. You notice I drive right into him, take him flat on his back. Ochigari is a big, powerful throw. You really end up a lot like that. When you do end up on him like that in Sambo, like we would do in Judo or Sambo, I want to stay within his guard because I'm not doing Jiu Jitsu or submission grappling. I can go immediately into a hold down. Okay, so, one more time, I'll have the guys toss each other. Come in like this, catch in. And I can stay there and just hold and hold tight. I'm going to have these guys toss each other a little bit. Bring Mike in a little bit here and have Eric. Again, I'll point a few things out, everybody. See how he controls? He's going to close his elbows. When he skips in, he's going to hit chest to chest, and he drives straight in. He goes right in. Now, if you do want to pass guard, as soon as you hit, that's the best time to do it. So if you do want to hit with a throw, with a pass guard, that's the best time to do it right there. Immediately is on contact. So if you are in a sport like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, some submission grappling, MMA, you want to pass guard quickly, there's, there's your time. Otherwise, you can stay between, totally okay. Good different view from We'll get a back view here. To turn around with my plank on the Okay, so, so when Eric skips and watches me, everyone. See how we hook. Again, that hooking action with the right leg, totally up to you. Some people hook high, some people hook low, some people just, you know, sneak it around on the mat. Totally up to you how you like that. That's good too. Ochigari is a very personal throw, very much like Osotogari. You kind of make it your own. This is how we approach Ochigari at Welcome Mat. You guys had good success with it, and this is our basic approach to it. So there we go.